<laughs> All right, Shalom. Brother Kabad back with a GMS lesson. GMS keep pushing. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, His own begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone for teaching us His truth according to the Bible, who will well. Another Shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth through diligence and sincerity. Came across this article. And look, you know. Once again, you know, woe to you false prophets and pastors, man. All right. It says past, uh, Pastor Kenneth Copeland, all right, was a well-known false uh, prophet, blows virus away, says God told him he needed to raise 300 million of income this year. And look at this clown, man. Look at his face, man. Look at his demon. Yeah, he's back again. He's back again, right? So... It says, uh, Pastor Kenneth, one of the richest televangelists in the United States, has waged war on the virus that has put much of the country at a standstill, right? <laughs> Last week, Pastor Copeland declared the virus to be finished in an insane video that plays more like a WWE promotion than a church sermon. <laughs> and look, man, and look, the Lord's not in these churches, man. Let's get that real fast, man, before I... I, I, I uh get into this because it's a couple it's a couple of video clips man i want to play this is uh book of acts chapter 7 verse 48 it says how be it the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands said the prophets what are these modern day temples these churches man the lord is not dwelling in them okay so if the lord is not dwelling in them who's dwelling in them look at that face the spiritual demon satan all right the spiritual demon Satan, man. All right, so let's let's uh let's look <laughs> and look. You know, people are making mockery of this guy, man. People are making mockery of this guy, man. And look, as, as look as he should be. It says here is a scam scam evangelist, Kenneth Copeland, destroying the virus through what I can only describe as a Christian magic spell. And look, and look, it's, it's, it's true, man. Let's play it. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Standing in the office <laughs> of the prophet of God, I execute judgment on you, COVID-19. Oh, <laughs> I execute judgment on you, <laughs> Satan, you destroyer, you killer. Through COVID-19. No more. No more. No more. It. No more. Is. Finished. Finished. It. Is. Over. And the United States of America. Is healed. And well. Thank you. Again. <laughs> it's Isaiah 45 and 7 It says I form the light And create darkness I make peace And create evil I the Lord Do all these things man Peace is not coming through What man says What this man says Peace is coming through What Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad says man Okay They're trying to get rid of This so called virus Okay Which we don't know If it's, is, if it's really uh, 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 Really going on like that all right, but there's gonna be peace. The Lord's gonna bring it, man. Not this uh, 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 FP, man. It's false prophet. Let's read it again. It's Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. The Lord's creating these bad times, man. 
Okay, and if it's going to be peace, he's the one that's going to bring it. It says, I, the Lord, do all these things. <clears throat> all right. So let's go down. There's another one. We're going to play this one. Now he's putting on a show. Let it happen. Cause it to happen. But the Lord said he's gonna bring these things, man. Is, is, is Kenneth Copeland not reading the scriptures? This is um second Ezra 15 and 1. Behold, no, second Ezra 15 and 5. It says, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. What's one of the plagues? All right. COVID-19 Alright The coronavirus It says Behold say of the Lord I will bring plagues upon the world The sword Famine Death and destruction That's what the Lord is bringing That's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai The word we call God and Jesus Christ That's what they're That's what they're bringing man Let's grab another precept uh, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter sixteen. Uh, now we'll start at I start at nineteen. Behold, famine and plague, the plague, right? Coronavirus, tribulation, anguish are sent as scourges for amendment. All right. Let's just grab another one. <clears throat> Just jumping through here. Let's see here. Um, verse 37. All right, Second Ezra 16 and 37. It says what? Behold, the plagues draw nigh and, and are not slack. And that's what you see happening. The scriptures say, if you speak not according to this word, there's no light in you. Okay, it, it, look, as a preacher, a prophet, he pulls a prophesy, right? And we're prophesying to what? Uh, destruction. Because that's what's coming according to the Bible. The Lord said what? He will give you pastors according to his heart. Start with what I had apostles and elders a great millstone. Not these false prophets, man. Not these false prophets, right? Where's the last one? Okay, yeah, it says uh, about his, uh, his, he needs to uh, build 300,000, right? For his income for the year, right? This is a uh, matter of fact, I'll play it then I'll grab a precept. This ministry will receive this year. Are you listening to me now? <laughs> God just kept laying this on me, just kept laying this on me. And, and, and I kept, I kept looking at Jerry's book, uh, uh, the petitions that we have of, in, in First John. We, we know, he hears us, we have the petition, the heavenly grant. We know this, we know that. And it was so strong in me, Jerry, I couldn't get away from it. Of course, I didn't have any idea all of this mess was gonna happen, but God did. And so, and the Lord had already dropped in my spirit and in my heart several years ago, about three years ago, that the income of this ministry this year had to be $300 million. 
Amen. Had to be. So, in response to what he kept pushing me to do, we prepared a heavenly grant. Our attorney looked at it. And he put it in proper legal language. We took copies of that. Members of the board, if they haven't already, will get a copy of that. Thank God. <laughs> and it is on file in heaven. It'll come in this year. Amen. It can't not come in this year. And there's no virus Amen. going to keep it from happening in my house or yours. Yes, this is Micah chapter 3, verse 11. The heads thereof judge for reward, and the priests thereof teach for hire. And that's what this guy's about, man. He's teaching just for the money. And the prophets thereof divine for money, yet will they lean upon the Lord and say is not the Lord among us none evil can come upon us and that's what these guys think man these false prophets and pastors that's what they think man that the Lord is dealing with them man by because they're, they're uh, uh, gaining wealth man okay off the ignorance of the people this is Micah 3 and 11 the heads thereof judge for reward and the priests thereof teach for hire and the prophets of divine for money and that's what these, these churches are all about. They're all about the money, man. We're in the money. They're all about the money, man. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, is not the Lord among us? You know? Look how much we're prospering. Is not the Lord not dealing with us? That's what they think. It says no evil can come upon us. But what did the Lord say about you false prophets? And this is going to be my last scripture. This is Jeremiah 23 and 1. It says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord. Okay? Woe means destruction unto the pastors. And this is how you destroy the sheep, man. This is how you scatter the sheep with this false doctrine, man. Who are you to, 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 uh, to uh, cast out the coronavirus? Okay? Who, who are you? Okay This man not speaking according to the Bible Isaiah 8 and 20 This is Jeremiah 23 and 1 Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pastors saith the Lord Therefore thus saith the Lord power of Israel Against the pastors that feed my people Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away And have not visited them Visit them with what? The truth of who they are man And what's really coming down the pipeline man Prophecy which is death and destruction Along with deliverance. But our people need to know that death and destruction is coming, man. And can't no false prophet, okay, or pastor, okay, uh, do away with the with what uh, the Lord has in store, man. It says, uh, Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doing, saith the Lord. And that's what's going to happen. These false prophets and pastors, they gonna get it, man. And this is one of them, man. And this is one of them, man. I mean, just look at his face, man. How can you not wake up and see that this man is, 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 is scattering the sheep? All these pastors want is just money, man. And they gonna get their reward, man. The Lord's gonna, gonna, gonna visit them, man. All right, so, you know, pretty much with that, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak, Badash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, teach us his truth according to the Bible, who will well. Another shalom to all the sincere Akims throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth through diligence and sincerity. Shalom.